So congratulations, you just got your first router. Uh, and that's basically what it looks like. It has uh, all these little ports in the back. And uh, I'll give you a little explanation of what they are. So it's really simple. There are basically two kinds of ports. One is called LAN. And you would usually get multiple ones of that. So you will get, in this case, four. Usually it's four, sometimes it's three. Uh, and these go to every computer that you have or every device that you want to connect to your network. Uh, you can also connect the devices wirelessly, of course, because this is a wireless router, but we'll get to that a little bit later. Right now, the more important connection we're looking for is something called WAN, or uh, sometimes it'll say uplink or even internet on it. And what this port does is connect to the internet, basically. Your modem will go right here. So in this case, I have a little cable modem right here, and I'm going to hook it up. So I'm going to connect this router to the modem using this little ethernet cable that I have here. So one side will go to here, and the other one will go to the modem. On the modem side, it'll usually be a little simpler. You just have one connection, so where it fits, it goes. The next thing I want to do is unplug the modem from the electricity. Now, this is sometimes not important, but most of the time, most modems need to be kind of reset before you can get them working with a new device. While it's sitting there unplugged, I can take another ethernet cable and hook it up to my computer. So I'm gonna use one of the four LAN ports in the back. It doesn't really matter which one, they should all work. And I'm just gonna put it in, and then I'm gonna put the other side into my nifty little computer. So what is happening right now is basically the computer is talking to the router and it's asking it for something called an IP address, which is kind of like a number that tells the computer, this is who you are on my network. Now, once it gives it an IP address, which should happen very, very fast and basically automatically, I'm gonna use either the web browser or the CD that came with the router to set it up. And the setup will take us through the process of uh, telling the router a, what kind of internet connection are we using? So if you're using a cable modem, most of the time, it'll be a completely automatic setup. You just plug it in and it'll work. Uh, or if you're using a DSL modem, sometimes you'll have to enter a username and password for the router to know how to connect to the internet using the modem. The second thing you will set up that's very important is your wireless network. So you'll set up the name of your wireless network and the password that will protect your wireless network from, you know, nosy neighbors or people you don't want to go on your uh, files. The last thing that I recommend setting up is the router password. Now the router password is different from the wireless password because the wireless password just limits access to the internet for all the wireless devices. But the router passwords protect all the settings that are on the router. So for example, if you wanna change the wireless password or if you wanna limit the way people connect to the internet or set up a firewall, all these things are done with the router password. And it's very important that the router password is different than the wireless password. Thank you.